Hey guys, it's Adam here from D Pad News TV, and it's Friday, bitches. That's right, Friday, bitches. I'm gonna take one from Dave and Chuck the Freak here in uh, in Windsor uh, from the radio station. Anyways, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, so that's okay, <laughs> um, because we are still playing the new map packs, First Strike for Call of Duty Black Ops. And uh, so here we are playing on the last map, the last of the four, Discovery. Now Discovery is basically an Arctic base that was abandoned and uh, and whatnot. And uh, I get jackasses on my team. That's what I get. Um, actually, uh, before we get started, I just want to I, I want to say something. I need to get something off my chest here. For whoever wants to say that we players are crap at Call of Duty. They don't know what they are talking about. I've been playing Call of Duty for a very long time. And I'm fairly new to the Xbox scene in terms of playing Call of Duty. But nonetheless, I know the franchise and I know the style of gameplay that it presents. And for whoever, for, for whatever reason they think that we players suck, we players are a hell of a lot better than Xbox 360 players. And they're a shit ton more fun to play with than these guys. Because honestly, all they do is use the same guns. You'll see a FAMAS, an AUG, or an AK-74U. That's it. And to be quite honest, like seriously, that's... You guys are supposed to be the, some of the best players in the world and that's all you do? I mean, I've seen maybe a handful of players who can, you know, be versatile and use other weapons that aren't those. But that's about it. That about sums that up. So, for anybody who thinks that we players really suck and don't have away. any talent in this game, well, they need to go for the game. Anyways, now that I got that cleared up, <laughs> um, we uh, I'm going to show you a few sniping spots here on Discovery, and um, this is uh, one of my one of my favorite ones here, and, and this is going to be on the, uh, the the west side of the map. Um, so. Basically, the reason I like this sniping spot is uh, it's very open, um, so you have various uh, intersects that you can go by. So, obviously, the the opening at the top it's an abandoned um, bunker. So, you have your main slot here, and now you have the bridge that runs across there, and uh, basically the bridge is almost the main intersect on the map. Um, a lot of traffic runs through that area and works particularly on this side of the map right here. Uh, these are really the two main buildings uh, on the map that are quite used a lot. That didn't really make sense, but whatever. Um, <laughs> they are used a lot and are usually the focal point of the team that starts on this side of the map. So. However, here presents a lot of good sniping opportunities as well. As you can see, there's a, a box here that uh, I'm going to jump onto now. Uh, and that presents a good sniping, a lot of cover. Uh, you're underneath the bridge and you get a pretty good view of the map on the other side. Um, now there's the spot that I normally snipe from. And then there's another one to the left of that that is also a relatively good sniping spot. Now, you have this room here, uh, which does present a good sniping position. Um, as I'll demonstrate. So you have this area here where people can come at you that way. I'm going to put a motion sensor down just to be on the safe side. And then you also have uh, people who can come down this way. So you have this little uh, staircase that you can go on and uh, look out that way. Um, another good thing too is um, you're not going to see all the sniping spots, but um, there are a good few. And this is right here is just going to go to prove. Uh, exactly what I mean by Xbox players. But anyways, so once again here we are on this side of the map and uh, so there again, uh, here's the main bridge uh, that goes across. Now, uh, one of the, one of the, I guess, uh, focal points of this level is an ice bridge that was built. Now the ice bridge, you know, you're not going to see in this video because it's ultimately completely useless and pointless to even be in this game. <laughs> um, and uh, I also want to make it clear here, I'm actually using two different uh, games of footage. 
um, because the, the actual game that I filmed um, didn't really show a lot of the map. So uh, I'm just going to use this to show another focal sniping point um, for you guys to utilize. So this is to the right. Uh, if you are in the building that I originally was, um, this is across from it to the right. And um, once again, you have two very important sniping spots. So you have this main window here, and then you have the one uh, just to the right there. Uh, and they both kind of point out down that, once again, a lot of traffic coming down that bridge area and also uh, right across into those uh, adjacent buildings. So uh, you, you do have a lot of, uh, a lot of different type of options here uh, for long range weapons. And of course that's uh, really what this map's about. It's a very big map. It's the biggest of the four and uh, it, it's really made to, uh, to utilize those sniping positions to take advantage of your terrain and, uh, and, and the buildings around you. So, there is uh, two, two ways to get into this building. There's a staircase uh, coming from beneath the building up and then there's a doorway uh, that goes right into the top floor. Now, uh, as you can see, my motion sensor, uh, my entire team's on the other side of the map. And of course, for any sniper, that really can pose a problem. Away. Uh, when the numbers game starts piling in on you, so um, you can ask. So here's the uh, downstairs here, and uh, I was trying to outflank them, but there's just too many of them for me to get around. And uh, so I'm gonna go back in here. And uh, so once again, the the ice bridge really isn't useful um, much as the zip lines. Um, though I did play um, a search and destroy on uh, Kowloon uh, yesterday and uh, it did seem that the zip lines can be used and are a little more useful in an objective type of mode um, but once again not so much uh, in team now. deathmatch so uh, you have to uh, so I see underneath th that bridge there is where the ice bridge does uh, relay itself so I mean I don't know it's an interesting concept, like, I like the whole interactive uh, environment. I mean, that's really what Bad Company is really good for, but um, I, I just don't feel that Treyarch really um, did it to the best that they probably could have. It does lack in uh, effectiveness, so... I don't know. Maybe it's something they can work on in the future with the interactive environments um, and you know, it w I, hopefully it'll just get better from there. That's really all there really is to the whole interactive environment. But, so that is Discovery, and that's the last map. Um, you probably won't see me play zombies, just because I hate zombies so very, very much. And um, so maybe that's something I'll do when it comes to the Wii. If you guys really want to see the zombies, I suppose I could. Let me know. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it. I'm Adam for Deep End News TV, and I shall see you guys Monday with the armories.